Now, you, there's many different free texting um, apps. One of them is called Text Plus. And the one I have here is uh, Text Plus Gold. But another app I have for Activator that allows you to do all these things and swipes and, and different gestures and to bring things up and down um, is called Aptivator. And what that does is it allows any app to have a double tap feature which will allow you to open up another app. So I like Facebook. And by the way, I have the new Facebook iPad official version. So this isn't Facely and this isn't uh, any of those fake iPad um, HD, uh, Facebook HD and all those things that are unofficial. This is the exact same app that's featured in the App Store for iPhone 4 or rather any iPhone or iPod. The latest Facebook app but embedded secretly inside it is the actual beta of the official Facebook app and I'll show you in a minute how you can get that and how you can do it if you have this. Um, let's see here. Uh, on the Facebook app you can get your own page. That's me there. You can get your news feed. Wait a second for it to load. See, but another feature I like is I don't like Facebook's chat. So what I like is an app called I Am Plus, which logs into my Facebook chat and lets me chat. But it's got a really ugly icon. When you single click Facebook, no problem. I get into the Facebook app. It loads all all my um, current news feeds. Now it's also going to load up in a moment the the chat area, but I don't use it anyway, so that's my point. When I double click this, it brings me to that other app. So I'm signed in. This is my Facebook, all my Facebook um, friends. I got quite a few on here, as you can see. Still keeps going. Um, I can talk to all these friends through here, but it's a different app. Facebook is still over here. So I can go can update my status if I want, check my messages, check my notifications, or I can just use four fingers and go back here to do the actual chatting so it doesn't have to interfere. Chat, Facebook, chat, Facebook, it's pretty sweet. Um, I don't know if anybody would want to be able to DJ uh, on their phone or on their iPad, but if they did, the app's called DJ, D-J-A-Y allow you to do this it actually loads up all your songs from your actual from your actual iPod and it actually has other effects It does some stuff. That's DJ. That's a DJ app, and that's a pretty sweet app. I mean, I mean, it, it's not the real thing, but. I mean, if you need a DJ setup quick on the fly, you're a DJ and you just need, like, you know, you're not going to be carrying around all them crates and all that heavy duty gear. But you know, you're just chill somewhere and you just need a, a setup, right? Like now, that's your app. You can do it. Auto BPMs allows you to scratch, uh, lets you just use any downloaded, uh, even if you needed a song on the fly, I got an app for that. Music. Now this app sideways uh, right now because it doesn't load up, but 
you could literally go into this app down just like LimeWire, download any song, like uh, any song. Want to find some Biggie? Juicy. It's a remix, but let's just see. So you click it once, and then it'll ask you what you want to do. Tap once to download, and tap twice to listen. So I just want to listen. Make sure it's the right MP3. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Yeah, that's why you do it. And then you can import that into the iPod. Like, there's no problem. Then you get, once it's imported into the iPod, when you're in here, you should be able to access it uh, by going to the song and then searching for it. Do a little search for it. Uh, and you'll be able to find it. You'll be able to find it in the playlist. And then you'll be able to add it up. So so that would allow you, if you're sitting here doing a mix, anyway, you're doing your mix, you're doing your little thing. Some, someone comes up and goes, hey, do you got that new song by so-and-so? You just go like that, bring up your music, download the song they want, transfer it to the iPod, be done with that, get right back into your DJ app, uh, load the song up. Probably not even, if I had to guess, not even 60 seconds later, you could be you could be playing that song for that person. You never even had the song. You obviously have to have a Wi-Fi connection or a 3G connection. But the point is, is it can be done. Um, what else do we got here? Okay, I'm going to teach you guys how to get the Facebook app. So what you got to do, it's a little bit tricky. You have to install from the App Store the Facebook for iPhone now when you first install Facebook for iPhone it's gonna be no good it's gonna be it's gonna be all small and blocky and if you make it bigger it'll be grainy and you know it won't, it won't look right it won't the keyboard doesn't load up the right way it looks like it's for the iPhone everybody knows how to download the app from App Store so just get Facebook for iPhone from App Store done um, what you gotta do is you gotta get iFile Try to open it up. You gotta go to applications and iFile. You'll find it. It's I F I L E. It's located in Cydia. Um, pretty much, pretty much, pretty easy program to find. Um, you're gonna look for your um, your app named Facebook. Facebook app. Okay, so then you go in here and you have to find info.plist, which is right here. And then you want to do property list viewer. Then you want to scroll down to U, wait, UI device family. And you'll see a one here. Mine has a two, but yours will say one. So you wanna go in here and you wanna change it to two. Then press done, get out of here, and reboot, physically reboot your whole iPad. Then when you open your Facebook app, you're gonna, it's gonna, it's gonna have a login screen. Now the problem is it's gonna have a login screen and then you're gonna try to log in and it's not gonna let you because Facebook has disabled this option. They found out about the leak that people know the information. The official iPad 
Facebook app is, is hidden within the the actual uh, iPhone app they they found that out so they disabled the login however someone on Cydia I just gotta find it someone on Cydia made right here it's called face forward all one word f a c e f o r w a r d face forward and when you install this into your Cydia and then it logs you out it will get rid of the bypass that keeps you out of here and it will now let you in and your iPad will be working flawlessly loading there Android lock it's called all one word Android lock XT and you can find that in Cydia What you want to do is go to the search and type in Android Lock. So there's all kinds of options for Android Lock. Some of them are paid for and some of them are free. It's up to you um, to make that choice. Um, I say support the developers if you can and um, I'll leave that choice up to you. So that's Android Lock. If you wanted to have your Twitter on your right on your lock screen, I'm pretty sure this works for iPhone as well. And it has your uh, email and all your other notifications all within your lock screen. Um, that program is called uh, Lock Info. L O C K I N F O. And there's all kinds of settings you can do. Someone named Sexy something or other saying hi to me. That's great. BT Stack um, allows me to use my um, Bluetooth Apple mouse as a mouse on here. I don't know if anyone would want to do that, but if you ever thought about doing that, install a program called BT Stack and you'll be, you'll be mousing it. Winterboard is a must. Um, if you try to install anything, I'm pretty sure it'll install Winterboard by default, so I don't think you'll have a real big problem with that. If you want to have a, your own custom carrier, like you see on mine, and I made it to be Jinx Beats upside down, you can put anything you want there. The app is called Fake Carrier. If you have Fake Carrier, you should be good to go. And then when you run the app, as I will demonstrate for you. If you get this app here, you'll be able to put any, any carrier you want. You can get rid of your, your, I'm not sure what carrier you're on. I'm on Virgin. Uh, I don't know if you guys, after this, will have any questions. If you do, feel free to make a comment down there. And I'll see what I can do about doing another video to answer any other questions. Uh, I have a lot of other uh, tweaks and whatnot and what have you that I haven't shown anyone and um, um, probably will make another video later. So uh, until then, peace.